Good morning. Today is Friday, February 9th, 2024, and I am getting ready to try my longest ever drive, as you can see on the maps here, six hours and 20 minutes to get to Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to be trying to go to Las Vegas for Super Bowl weekend. Not going to the game, but I think it'll be a fun experience. Give me my first experience on a really long driving trip and also I want to check out all the Super Bowl decorations along the strip so I'll be vlogging that with various clips along the way and then once I get there I'll also be shooting like feature length clips that do more in-depth tours. For anyone who watched my one vlog I'm having Buford and Oscar back as guests this time although they won't be narrating much. We're gonna end up taking the I-15 most of the way for this trip. I am going to possibly do a few detours, like go to a place called Cove Fort, I think, and I might also try exploring uh, Cedar City, Utah, before I continue on to Vegas, just to get some more filming content in. You can see we've got these snowy mountains as I'm leaving Layton, Utah, or getting ready to go on the highway in Layton, Utah about 33 degrees here in Las Vegas I believe it's going to be around 52 degrees for the high I'm aiming to get there like around 7 o'clock p.m. with all of my stops I make in between so we'll see how that goes so I'm technically on US 89 for like the first seven miles and then it's gonna merge onto the I-15 see over to the left side or that snowy mountain area we're still I think in Layton or Kaysville area but we're gonna hit all the places well we're not, I'm not gonna stop at it, but we're gonna pass Farmington Salt Lake City and then further south like Draper Provo I've never been further south than I think well I should take that back I've never explored in the Provo area I have been to Bryce Canyon and explored that part of Utah a little bit, as well as St. George. There's Lagoon Amusement Park in Farmington, Utah, on our left. And then you can see the sign right here. We can take the right two lanes to go on to the, or merge onto the I-15. starting to see a little bit of snow nothing major I looked at the forecast ahead of time it doesn't it's not supposed to be like a big snowstorm that I'm driving into I think it's just remnants of whatever light snow is gonna fall well it's a bit foggy but over there on the left you've got Salt Lake City downtown area of course you didn't get to see much of it because the bridge cut it off See the snow's getting thicker and the big Las Vegas sign, even though we're well away from it. Well, it's weird because you're driving and like that snow was coming consistently for 20 minutes and all of a sudden I hit a spot in a blink of an eye and just completely stopped it. Clear sight now. I think we're near Lehigh, Utah at the moment. So it looks like we're in Provo now, but with where the highway is positioned and it is snowing and foggy again, you really can't see much of Provo itself. One day I plan on doing a bigger length video, like exploring Provo in pretty much in depth. But that one, Provo's not too far away, it's not like a ridiculous drive. So that's why I figured I'm not going to make a pit stop there today I could just do that some other time. Also the front runner train's final stop is in Provo so that's another that gives you more flexibility if, if I want to take the train I don't have to drive I can just like relax and you know, explore like that one time. So now we're in Spanish Fork which is the next big town south of Provo see the Spanish Fork Main Street. One of these things I noticed, I don't know if this is common in all states, because I swear it's not common in Ohio or Cleveland area, maybe I'm mistaken, 
is that there's a main street in all of these Utah cities. Like, even if it's the tiny ones, there's a main street. So anytime I'm looking at Google Maps, I check out the main street to see if it's worth, like, a visit for a video or not. Also, I think this is the part where the traffic somewhat slows down a little bit. Like, not as much traffic, because there, there was quite a bit of traffic. More than I expected to be on the highway at this time of day. But now we're also lessening to only three lanes, and I think eventually it's going to get down to two lanes because we've basically hit the final big city. Now we're going to start, you can see even the speed limit's increasing to 75 for the first time. And at some point, I think it's going to go up to 80. But yeah, now we'll start hitting small towns. You can see like the sign says Payson, five miles, Nafee, 31 miles, Las Vegas, 372 miles. A bunch of these small towns are going to be ahead. And when my uh, partner two years ago drove us around the same time of year to Bryce Canyon and Zion National Park, we took this highway and passed up several of the cities. So the names are familiar with me a little bit. Yeah, I know it's hard to see, but some of that stuff's fun. When you start seeing the farm and rural, or sorry, suburban farmland and like the houses are almost right next to the highway and this is where you can just kind of coast a lot of times straight without worrying about weaving in and out of traffic and such and now as we're near Payson Utah you can see the actual sun is breaking through the clouds So I just finished at the fort, which is just beyond these trees you can't see because I'm in the parking lot. I did a separate video on that. Now I'm going to, I'll see, I'm going to try to probably drive in an hour and four minutes to Cedar City and do a little video tour there, but we'll see. If I don't feel like doing it, I'll just continue on to Vegas, but I think I am going to stop so I can grab something to eat. There's a shot of a fort as I'm driving by to leave. They're open daily 11 to 5 p.m., although Sunday is noon to 5 p.m. Look at the sign. Welcome to Beaver. More than just a stop, we're your destination. I remember that sign two years ago when we went to Bryce Canyon. So this is Cedar City. So all of a sudden you go from seeing like nothing, just empty fields and mountains to back to a big, kind of a big city. Probably the biggest one since Provo, if I had to guess. Uh, and then after this, I think St. George would be the biggest city. Yes, one of these exits coming up soon, I'll be getting off to grab something to eat, maybe film a little bit. Just got off the highway, so it says I'm about three minutes from the downtown portion. So I'm at Central Woodfired Pizzeria in Cedar City. This is where I'm having a half, kind of like a half pepperoni, half sausage pizza. Hey, it's another two hours and 24 minutes, so got a ways to go. It probably will be dark by the time I get there. I was hoping to get there just before it turned dark, but 
it's still okay. I was aiming for 7 o'clock. I'm going to be around 7.30ish. Uh, so I almost forgot. There is a one hour time zone difference once we get to probably Nevada. So technically, I'm on pace to arrive at like 6.30 Vegas time, which would be a little bit ahead of my goal of 7 o'clock. I think on the right side, this is Leeds, Utah coming up. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there's supposed to be like a, an old ghost town. I was considering going to it as one of my video stops, but uh, I spent too much time at the other couple of places, so I'm going to have to punt on that idea.
through at least the border from Utah to Arizona is really cool. And very scenic. I wish I would have uh, had my had this camera that I'm filming with attached to my stabilizer on the that thing right there, so that I could have filmed the entire Arizona portion. But that's okay because I didn't. You know, like I couldn't do that for the whole Utah portion because you know, it gets a bit redundant. When I see this type of stuff, I always think to myself, who in their right mind, I mean, it's cool, but like who, how did they do this? Like build just this massive length road amidst, you know, all this natural mountainous area, get everything to be stable and smooth and just like perfectly cut in between the scenery. Hey, look, it's a Target truck. That's actually a third different Target truck like that I've seen while driving today. Well, it just snuck up on me. I missed the Welcome to Nevada sign. You can clearly see right at the start of Nevada, a bunch of like casino type lighting. We're still 80 miles away, about an hour and seven minutes from Las Vegas. Even though there's no lighting around, the reflectors on this stretch of the highway are just like fantastic. I mean, you can see clearly where the lanes are. We're getting tons of rain. 35 minutes away from Vegas. We got the wipers going full blast. It's, and even that's hard to keep up with the rain. Oh, you may not be able to see it on the footage here, but I just turned the corner. You can see all the lights and even part of the Las Vegas Strip way, way ahead. And by way ahead, that's like 16 miles, but you can see it. I can see there's a sphere even on, uh, even from back here, and the Ferris wheel. Got some of the downtown parts of Vegas coming into view. All right, I'm off the highway. It says I still have five minutes, four minutes. I'm gonna be turning left here. All right, I arrived at Sin City Hostel, which is where I'm staying. In the little parking lot here, they've got some cool artwork against this building. Well, I don't know if it's Sin City or the other building, but nonetheless, if you park here, you get to enjoy it. Fremont Street experience. Oh yeah, it is Sin City Hostel. <laughs> Makes it look so devilish. And then over here, Vegas Night. the person puking their guts out. <laughs> yep, Sin City Hostel. And it's a secure parking lot. They gave me a key after I paid $10 a night. All right, so this is how the room is set up. There's eight beds. They told me like my bed is this bed G, so they have them lettered. Uh, there's some lockers if you brought locks. So bed G, my bed will be right there on the lower one. And then over here, you have the shared bathroom. Uh, let's see if there's a light. A little shower area. Sink and toilet. I found the light switch on the other side. So there's lights on both sides. And right now, no one else is in here. So that's why I'm taking advantage of the being able to show this off. So bed G. Get to sleep here. And I don't know what the hell happened with that outlet, but there's some outlets there, which I have a, I bought a 10 foot cord for my phone. So I'll be able to plug in my phone overnight. And even my laptop, if I need to use it, would stretch there. So there's a good amount of outlets. If you're in this room, the outlets are convenient. These ones, uh, the outlets aren't as convenient because they're against this wall, so they'd have to stretch, but 
shouldn't be an issue for me. Okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do, because I was trying to think what type of content I want to do. I have Saturday and Sunday to basically film what I want to film along the Las Vegas Strip. One of the things I definitely want to capture, and like the whole reason I came here, is I want to see all the Super Bowl decorations. But I think I want to do that during like the daytime more so. Uh, and then I also have a possible thought of doing like a full walk from this Sin City Hotel all the way down. Like it, it, it takes a little bit to get to the strip, but then all the way down to the strip and. I don't know. I still, I still, I have some ideas related to it, and then I just have to think about it more. But I'm not sure if doing a vlog of like all those different things over the next two days would like fit into this particular thing. So I'm thinking maybe this, I'm going to end this particular vlog right here and make it more of like the drive to uh, the hotel. And I think that might be like a good enough thing. It'll start serve as like the introduction and then the longer pieces will serve as what I did once I got here. And then tonight, since it's already 7.30 p.m., I mean, it's still early Vegas time, but I don't want to film everything on the strip and then refilm everything Saturday and Sunday. So I think I might do some niche things. Like I might go and do the Bellagio Conservatory today so that way I don't have to waste time doing a full video on that following day because I think they have a Chinese New Year exhibit and then maybe if there's uh, some like real related things or pictures that I want to take at nighttime I can take those pictures so I think that'll be my plan for the rest of tonight so if you enjoyed this driving vlog from Utah to uh, Las Vegas at the Sin City Hostel, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.